Don't watch that. Watch this. Well, what do you mean by this? Oh, well, this is my channel. Welcome to it. And if you guys do really enjoy it, you can go in, you can click the share button. That really, really helps the algorithm go to Twitter, Facebook, Blogger. I don't even know what the crap that is. Reddit, all the stuff. So if you do love that, we also have a join button. You go in, you click a little join button. Four ninety nine a month, you get all the cool, awesome emojis. Now, enjoy the video. That's is doing on Rotten Tomatoes. Oh, oh. That's, that's fun. Nineteen, nineteen. Oh, Lord. Also, holy crap. Thank you so much. Scott Gentry, 49.99 Super Chat. Holy crap. So, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. So, here we are at the end of Star Wars. Let's do the list. Transformers ruined. G.I. Joe ruined. He-Man ruined. I've got $50 that says Robotech is next to be dug up and destroyed. Merry Christmas, Mecca. Get trashed on New Year's. I'm going to try and do a New Year's stream and a Christmas stream for you guys. Absolutely. We're going to see. And thank you so much. Holy crap. That's the thing. Well, Robotech, isn't that part of, um, is, is, am I thinking, is that still part of, like, the, the Harmony Gold stuff, or is that more, more than Macross, where they're just gonna not allow anything to happen with that? I gotta ask Rob on that one. He's more of an expert there. Cats. Oh, and so, since we got sidetracked on here, hello, everyone. I am... Like a random 42, the one, the only, your favorite YouTube harpy... Cat, how? Okay, okay. So, what are you gonna say that we're all a bunch of ists and phobes for not wanting to see this movie? Because you can't defend cats. You really, really can't. It's creepy. It's odd. It's an out of date musical that was kind of out of date when it was a big Broadway hit. So let's just take a look at what some of these critics are saying. Ah, my 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 magic isn't working very well. It's kind of working. It's kind of working. Holy shit. Thank you so much, GD Chap GD Chapel. Oh my god, thank you so much to the 69 dudes. You guys are really amazing today. I really appreciate it. I never get to hear the 69 dudes one. But thank you so much. Holy crap. You guys you guys are you guys are so nice and wonderful. <laughs> Wall Street Journal hates it. Artistically, it's a hairball. There's no story to speak of. Mr. Weber's music is immediately forgettable. And like a cat standing at an open door, it takes forever to get where it's going. <laughs> I, have, have, you, have you had that with like a pet cat where you're like, okay, in or out, in or out. But I want to stand here with the door open. I just want the door open. I don't want to be in or out. I just want the door open. That's why I'm meowing and clawing at it. That's what they do. I have, I have two. They are adorable and I love them. And they do that. They just want the door open. They don't want it. They don't want in. They want to. <laughs> if you have no prior familiarity with the world with or with the wordy purring absurdism of cats, it'll hit harder and you'll likely have a lot of questions. So you kind of it's for the people who actually like this. There's nothing wrong with making a movie that's for people who are just fans of that little particular movie. But here's the thing, if you're going to the movies this weekend and you have a choice between Cats and Rise of Skywalker and anything else, buy a ticket to Jumanji. You want to buy a ticket to Jumanji. Give Jumanji your money. They deserve it. There was a good movie. I liked it. It's getting buried with all the Rise of Skywalker and stuff and it's not, it's not even getting very positive reviews. I really enjoyed it. Buy a ticket to Jumanji. That's all I'm going to say. Cats is terrible, but also uh, kind of great. Oh, no. Oh, no. There was one I saw that I really... Oh, this one. I feel the light inside me slowly fading is a one out of five star review. Yeah, that's what you get. That, that's kind of how I felt. Is, is this a Rise of Skywalker review by any chance? Because that's how I felt in Rise of Skywalker. The, ri the, the Just the light inside of me is fading and I don't want to live in this world anymore with these people i just see people and i just play people i didn't play captain no 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 not you not you you think it's, she thinks she's people how cute not you brie no 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 we're talking about cats not brie not brie oh, there's something magical about the simple fact that this movie exists in all its obscene, absurd wonder, its terrible filmmaking choices and bursts of draw-dropping talent. This is what's funny. This might be a good one just that's so ridiculously bad. It's like a, a, a get a little, you know, smoke weed every day 
And watch this thing. Do you guys think that? This might be a good, you know, ha have a little drink and have a little whatever. and Enjoy the crap out of the ridiculous absurdity of it. I mean, <laughs> woof. <laughs> Top critic, woof. I love that one. Adam Graham's from Adam Graham from the Detroit News. He just says woof. Oh God, my eyes. Ty Burr says <laughs> it all just feels so wrong. Well, we knew about that. They could have fixed that like they did Sonic, but no, they didn't. By the final scene, by which my eyebrows were hurting from being raised so high, the Winnie Cat goes to the heavy side lair in a chandelier. What's this? Phantom of the Opera? I was just tired, as was Cats. Meow. <laughs> This is the best one. I feel the light inside. See, cats, cats will make you lose the will to live. But, you know, then again, so will Rise of Skywalker, where, spoiler, Leia dies for no reason. Just drops dead. Poof, poof. Just like that. Just like this movie Cats. Just like the movie Cats, I think. I think Cats is going to... Holy crap, Robert Flores, $20 super chat. Thank you so much. Music question. Oh, I like music questions. Have you heard of singer-songwriter Sierra Hall, a mandolin player in a folk bluegrass, but expanding into other types of music? I have not. I have not. I'll have to, I'll have to check. I, I'm assuming it's a girl. I'll have to check her out because like sometimes I'll listen to a lot of weird stuff. I've been getting into... Last night on Creepy Little Book. Also, shout out to my other family over on Creepy Little Book. I'm going to leave my ad in where we talk about paranormal, occult, new age. If you don't want a Hollywood, if you want a break from that and you just want to talk about, you know, high strangeness and UFOs and aliens and ghosts and, and weird stuff like the Illuminati, that's where you want to come and just hang out. Weird ghost stories, haunted houses, weird asylums, spooky stuff, mysterious things, you know, mysteries that we can't explain, ancient history, a lot of stuff like, like biblical and ancient history, kind of how they overlap. It's not really a biased way of looking at any of it. It's just, hey, here's this story that happened to be out of the Bible this night, and here's this ancient Egyptian mythology thing that kind of coincides next to this. It's really a lot of fun. Check it out. It's on Creepy Little Book. I'll link it up here. I'm there pretty much every night and it'd be great if people want to stop by and want to break from this. This weird stuff. This weird Hollywood. <laughs> this weird stuff. Oh god, there's more. There's more. Oh, there's more. A bunch of well-known celebrities get turned into singing scenery-chewing digital kitties in the utterly absurd yet oddly charming movie musical version of the Broadway hit. Well, they kind of liked it, but still, two and a half out of four isn't the best. Hooper is not my man for film musicals. Without the presence of hardworking troopers in fun fur in this cats, all that's left are canned images of fit-looking people meowing and raising their rumps high in the air. Oh, oh, this is a great one. This is a great one. I didn't hate it. <laughs> this sounds like a fake review almost. This almost found, sounds like one of those fake reviews that you see in a fake video game where you make other video games. Like, oh, I didn't hate it. I think that is one from Game Dev Tycoon. Oh, my. I found it all exhausting. David Rooney says, of the thought, of the thought of what on earth to do now, pretend to be cats, says the director. They reply, me. How? <laughs> So they're not even given any direction. Oh, Lord. See, and, and that's kind of the thing. This got buried with the Rise of Skywalker stuff. I definitely wanted to cover the cats thing. I'm going to, I am going back to my live chat. Don't you guys go anywhere. I'm going to put on my end card. We're not going anywhere. Don't. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.